The Learning Potential Fund, I think what really they do is make the difference between someone who could have done what they wanted to do or someone who is doing what they want to do, which is, which is me. I guess growing up, education was something that wasn't a high priority for my family. My parents actually separated when I was about 10 and I moved with my dad to a rural town in Queensland. And from about that age, I really picked up those sort of extra responsibilities, I guess, caring for my siblings and, and cooking meals. Looking back on it now, I guess that was just my life. You don't really reflect on those things from a childhood sort of perspective. And certainly there was not much time for developing myself, I guess, with academia. However, I would take every opportunity to read um, that I could and I'd save all my money for books. And I used to pretend to be having a bath and I would read with the book in one hand and swish the water with the other one to make it sound as if I was in there actually having a bath. I used to um, engage in deals with the, with the tutors and they would say, we'll let you borrow these books as long as you tutor these students in Shakespeare. Had you had have said, you know, you'll need this for a PhD later on, I would have thought that was hilarious. I worked in childcare for a long time and I, and I absolutely love that and I still have a real, really strong connection to those early years of learning. When I was faced with this path of going into teaching, I thought, financially, how am I going to manage this? With young children having to contribute to the household, this is going to get really tough. I think you need some really strong, positive messages around you to get on that journey and then to finish that journey. The best thing about finding out about my um, application being successful was just a feeling of, oh, someone thinks I can do this, that I can take this journey on and actually and, and go with it. So the Learning Potential Fund really enabled me to give up the part-time work focus on the study, engage a little bit of, of childcare, but it really allowed me to make those choices that could set me up for success. Had I not had the bursary, I would have been working, trying to hold a full-time load and managing four kids and how that all fits together. And I would have been taking from too many places. So there was that financial aspect of making it happen practically. But really it was that component of wanting to succeed because others had believed in me, I guess, which was really special. I was offered a position as an education consultant for the Down Syndrome Association of Queensland. Um, something I was really passionate about. I had worked with kids with intellectual impairments before. Um, so I thought, yeah, this is, this is somewhere I can really make a difference. The ultimate aim of any research really is, is to make a contribution. For me, that's about maximising educational outcomes for students with Down syndrome. So I'll be working with teachers, um, supporting teachers, listening to teachers' experience, and then working on how we can deliver those things. So I guess lots of parents have really expressed an interest in my research and a real gratitude that we're shining a light there. And I think this has really shown me that small things can actually set people up for a long time and then inspired me to further give a bit of a helping hand to others who might need it as well. So you think when you practice law, you'll probably practice around the Brisbane area? Yeah, Brisbane, yeah, well, I'm, I'm working with the barrister now, so I'm, I'm getting, yeah. you know, really a lot of experience with yeah. him, you know. I tutor in the ITAS program, which is a program for Indigenous students. And I guess for me, that's a way of helping those students to achieve their potential as well. The most important people who I sort of try and reach out to is, is mature age students. We forget that there's still, you know, there's still a long work history for us and there's still a lot, lots of ways we can make a contribution to society. So your belief in us then enables us to go on and really show those leadership qualities of helping others around us. For my kids, they're very cognizant of the fact that, you know, university is there and, you know, I don't have to tell them much about it because they see me living the experience. I think what they're seeing is that, that way of following your own passion and doing what really excites you and that I know that they're very proud of what I'm doing. Do you know what they're
<laughs> my kids, they have a bit of a joke with me and they, they reckon they can only call me Doc at the moment because I'm only halfway through. When I'm finished, they'll call me Dr. Mum. But for now, it's just Doc. 